Playing at the United States Naval Academy is bigger than football. It has the opportunity to set you up for the rest of your life. For Navy senior Jarius Warren, it's a decision he hasn't regretted. I am. I'm good. I'm solid. Growing up in Mississippi, Warren starred on both the gridiron and the track. When offers to play in college started coming in, it was his sister, a Navy doctor for 26 years, who told him he should consider Navy. And uh, she told me pretty much this is a once a lifetime opportunity that you're going to get and you'll be uh, set up for success in the long run. So I had to take it it's about the next 40 years instead of the next five. Two weeks before his official visit to the Naval Academy, Warren's father died. A call to the coaching staff to share the news that he couldn't attend his visit ended up solidifying his decision to come to Navy. I told Coach Ingram I wasn't going to come on an official visit and he kind of just he kind of just let me know that they were all here for me and they didn't even know me yet. So I thought that was encouraging and one of the reasons that led me here as well. In the years since arriving in Annapolis, Warren moved around the defense before settling in at defensive tackle. He credits a lot of his success to defensive line coach Jarek Hall. He fits the mold for it, you know, as far as from a quickness piece. Um, he's smaller, but he's quick and he's strong, and he plays with a good pad level. You know, and that's what allowed him to be successful in there. As Navy heads into the final stretch of the season, Warren's leaving everything he can on the field. And though his name might not be blaring over the PA system play after play, number 94 continues to be a key contributor to the Navy defense. When he came to me for, as a sophomore uh, to now, I mean, he's grown so much. He's matured. He's grown into a leader. Reporting in Annapolis for the American Athletic Conference Campus Connect, I'm Phil Bergman.